now from South Seminole Academy in Castleberry, Florida. Direct from the third floor of building number three, this is South Seminole News. Hello friends, you are friends. Welcome to the latest and special edition of the Dean's Den. Today we are honored to have your Eastern Division champion, your district champion, and your undefeated champions, the 2021 boys varsity basketball team. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the mic to the first player. I'm going to let them go around, introduce themselves. And after they introduce themselves and tell you what grade they're in, um, we're going to review the last two minutes and 40 seconds of the championship game against Markham. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen it yet, or those of you who were unable to attend, it's going to be good play-by-play -play, uh, breakdown. So I'm going to start with my man Antonio. If you guys could introduce yourself, hold it. To introduce yourself. Yeah. Um, I'm Antonio. I'm in eighth grade. And you have a last name, right? Oh, I'm Antonio Contreras. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. pass it on. <laughs> Who's my next player? Uh, my name's Alex Higgs. I'm in the eighth grade. Go ahead. My name is Brandon Kemble, and I am in the eighth grade. My name is Makari. I'm in the eighth grade. <laughs> 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 the, to be honest with you, Dean's Den um, viewers, the, they're not this quiet in real life. Yeah, I'm uh, my name is Kanan Pierce Flores. I'm in the sixth grade. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, my name is Eddie Almonte. I'm eighth grade. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my name is Jaden Martinez. I'm in the eighth grade. My name is Mason Flores. I'm in the eighth grade. My name is Daniel Pfeiffer, and I'm in the eighth grade. My name is Janelle De Los Santos, and I'm in the eighth grade. Yes, my name is Jaden De Los Santos. I'm in the seventh grade. Yes, sir. My name is Joel Soto, and I'm in the eighth grade. <laughs> 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 All right, so that that's uh, we have some players that weren't able to make it today. They're they're absent um, or you know they're they're not at school today. So uh, Lewis Smith, Lewis Smith, eighth grade. So, and and Makai Lockhart, that's right. Um, and Nicola, Nicola, Nicola is not here. So we want to give a shout out to those missing players and they're absent today, but they they definitely deserve the credit. So as we break it down, Markham Woods came in as the number one seed in the Western Division, undefeated. South Seminole came in as the number one seed in the Eastern Division, undefeated. And as we know, those worlds collided Wednesday, March 5th, um, where we had two undefeated teams. Hey, May 5th, sorry, right, May 5th, where both those undefeated teams came together and something had to give, somebody had to come away with the trophy. Sorry, Markham Woods, wasn't you. Hello. So... Having said that, um, there was a, they worked hard. Coach Quintana deserves a lot of credit. I mean, he worked with you guys. But you guys deserve a lot of credit because you did work hard all year long. Um, and it's the first district title in school history. So um, there can always – and I'll tell you this. There, there can always be more district champions, but there will never be a first district champion. This is the first. So, um, so – all right, so here's what we're going to do. And, and actually, um, coming out of this timeout, who wants to tell me? Coming out of this timeout, it's two minutes, 40 seconds left, up one. I carried the team. What? You weren't even there. Who, uh, hey, who, who, who could tell me what was happening in this, in, this, in this right here? You got it? Mason, Mason, what was going on in this, this uh, right here before we get started? What was going on right before you guys came out? I was like, Coach was telling us, like, like, we got this. Like, we're really the best team. But he was giving us a game plan to make sure that we execute what we had to do. You know what I'm saying? We had the ball. We had to get the ball to Janelle real quick. You know what I'm saying? Made that, made and that we're, clutch. Well, don't spoil the ending. Fault, we're going to get to that. My fault. Trust me. All right, so Mr. Miles, if you can go ahead and start that tape. We're going to watch some of this. So you guys are coming out of this timeout. Coach is giving you, you said to protect the corners. Is that what he's saying? Yeah. Protect the corners, right? Take away the corner jumpers. They were lighting it up at three, from three. Yep. Yeah. All right, so they're coming out of the timeout. Who's inbounding the ball? There we go. That's uh, that's over to Lewis. Nah, it might be. There's Lewis with the ball. 
Say it. That's a jumper. Yep, the jump right over him, right, Brandon? All right. All right. So who's who's picking up the go? Who's this? Jadrian. Jadrian, come here. You know Janelle was in that because his ankle's stuck in a, a yeah. little bit. J- Jadrian, come here. What were you thinking right there, locking him down? What are you thinking? On the perimeter. That wasn't him. All right, so now we've got a tie game, two minutes left. I got to get double teamed as soon as I get the ball. That was Lewis. Hey, my dog Lewis want to turn up real quick. Watch it, watch it. The ISOs, yeah, this is the ISO right here. Uh, uh, you small. This is the ISO play, yep. And he puts it in. Imagine so now we go two, dunking. minute 38. Imagine when that boy starts dunking. Oh, my God. Anything to add, Eddie? Joel, no? You good? JJ with the locks. JJ with the locks. Oh, yeah, there he goes. I'll tell you what, you're two guards. Where's the other one? Oh, oh there's my man. <laughs> I tell you what, look at this perimeter defense. Look at this. Oh, oh! Gotta, gotta get that rebound. It was Fowler. It was Fowler. It was Fowler. All right. Minute six, guys. What are you guys thinking now at this point, Mason? What are you guys thinking? Minute six, minute five, up two. I was just thinking, like, we need to get something done, like, immediately. Yeah. Like, we just need to play smart. And I was like, right. wow. So now, now it gets interesting because now you guys are down one, 52 seconds. Oh, Sky. Take me through this play. Take it through. As soon as I got the ball, I knew I was going to make it. Oh! Oh, the assassin. The dagger from downtown. Hey, guys. What time is it? That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at this, though. This is important, too, right? Look at the lockdown right here. Look at this. Taking away the three. No, no. Straight up. Good call. That was a block. All right. But no, look, great lockdown on the, on the perimeter. Look at this. The trap. That's it. So let me ask you this. Take me through. I'm going to take this through that last shot because I got to know. So when you squared up and received your bro, by the way, great pass. Where's your brother? Great pass. So when you lock, when you should, got it. Did you know right away? You're like, this it. It's mine. As soon as I released it, I was Talk in the microphone. As soon as I released it, I knew I was going to make it. You know, we're just unconscious because that was a great shot. Great pressure shot. But I guess, uh, guys, we talked about this. That defense, the perimeter defense you guys showed was fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> but, but, but that was definitely a, um, definitely a team effort. You guys played really well. Um, it took every single one of you guys throughout the season. You, Maybe guys that didn't. Um, so anyway, easy, easy. So in into in the next year, guys, those eighth graders that are leaving, I just wanted to tell you, every single one of you that, that participated, practiced, was part of this team, thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for all your hard work. Um, and, and thank you for showing some of the sixth and seventh graders, you know, because now you've you've set the bar high. You've now are the district champs, the Eastern Division champs, and you're the first ones. So that means where are my underclassmen? My underclassmen, my underclassmen now. Is, come here. The few, no, no, no. You too. My underclassmen. You guys are gonna have to step up, right? Keep that momentum going, because now you guys are gonna have to be the leaders next year, right? What do you think of that? I don't know. He doesn't know. How about you? You good with that? Keep the tradition going. All right. <laughs> You're good. All right. So, yeah, I'm underclassmen. Uh, eighth graders, thank you so much. Great season. Underclassmen, thanks for a great season. You guys got to keep it going next year. Show that new crop of guys are going to be coming up because you guys are going to be the future. You two are leading. The rest of you guys going on to high school, whatever you guys decide to do, I know you're going to be very, very, very successful. Um, and hopefully, you know, you guys had a, a good time, enjoyed it, and um, and enjoyed being part of a team. 
you know? And that goes beyond the coaches and anything else, just you guys as, as teammates, you know what I mean, as friends. All right, and it's hopefully something you guys will remember even moving on into high school, right? Because you guys are probably going to see each other when you play against each other in high school sometimes. All right, so. Okay, well, there you go. All right, and with that, does anybody have anything to add? Anything they want to say before we sign off? Makai, would you like to say anything before we sign off? Oh, we're going to say that. Don't worry. And it's going to be two thumbs up, like we always do. No. All right, so having said that, this conclusion of the special edition of the Dean's Den. And with that, gentlemen, here we go. Don't forget the star. Hello, Hurricanes, and welcome to Anchor Desk Failures. I'm Chloe. I'm Ava. And I'm Riley. This is where we're going to show you the worst things we've ever seen on this entire newscast. Slouching awkwardly. It's really bad. Don't do it. Just don't. Okay, next is glasses moving. So you're not an old lady. You can see the prompter. <laughs> and next one is when people have a very monotone voice. They you're not a robot. Like you're not a robot. Next one is flat hands slash nail salon hands. <laughs> just keep your hands like this. Um, the other one is when you just do this and you're going, Hello, Hurricanes. <laughs> Everyone laughs, but it's not professional. No, it is not. <laughs> no. Absolutely hilarious, though. About another one that very much bothers me is when people tip back in their chair. You're going to break your head open. <laughs> okay, You're gonna the other one is when people talk and their mask fall down. And, and then, then they, they pull it back up a million times during the newscast. Just keep it up or down. Speaking of hands, you have them. Put them on the desk. This makes you look like you have no arms. Mm -hmm. You're just a worm when you do this. A lot of people do this. Where are they? Put their heads very down. Their neck must be tired. Too bad. <laughs> the next one is hand talkers. Hello, Hurricanes. Good morning, Hurricanes. Just, again, keep the hands <laughs> on here. The desk. <laughs> on the desk. We and do it clasp. for a reason. Another one. People get bored a lot of the time. You just tap their nails. Fancy typing. The mic does pick that up. Fun fact. The other one is leaning back. Like too or far in your chair or forward. leaning forward, and it again looks like you have like your no neck, neck is all tired. <laughs> you have no neck. Uh, another one that that, that 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 people have is when they sound like Porky Pig and they start start start, start stuttering like a crazy person. And the next one is microphone errors. Rubbing the microphone. Having it on the table. Hold your microphone. Hello, hello. <laughs> or of course having the microphone just fall off. And you keep talking. Or Flip you, it on. you try to put the microphone back on, but it just, it just, it just falls again. <laughs> it's an endless cycle. <laughs> Maybe it will stay. <laughs> okay. The last. And then lastly, when your voice fluctuates, sometimes you'll be like, hi, hello. And then other times you'll be like, hello. <laughs> just keep not monotone. <laughs> but, not tone, but please don't scream at us. Yeah, the microphone. We don't want to hear sensitive. that. It does scare the kids that aren't paying attention, though. <laughs> well, that's all for today, Hurricane. We hope you have a good Friday. Don't forget to storm. <laughs>